Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Down to Earth and today I'm out here doing a gardening craft. Um, this is going to be how to create a flower crown, which I just did one for my granddaughter. I think my daughter, my adult daughter, loved it more than my little granddaughter. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It is something that you can do with children or um, even for adults. I feel like we don't play enough, so I think it's great to get out there and clip some flowers and do a fun craft, um, even if it is just for us. So I'm just going to walk you through what I have for materials here. Um, I've clipped some annuals and also some perennials that I have in my own yard. So you can really get creative with this. I've got some beautiful lavender, a couple different kinds. I have some pansies and some Johnny Jump Ups. They're still looking pretty good, but they're starting to fade because it is getting warmer and they like cool weather. So I don't mind really clipping those. Um, I have some sedum, some sweet pea. Ivy is great. Don't forget to throw in some greenery. I have some ferns here for my greenery and a little bit of artemisia just to add a little bit of gray in the mix. Um, but whatever you have on hand for perennials or annuals or even herbs, um, wildflowers are great too. So these are all fresh flowers. So I've clipped a few and then I like these. We like to use these yogurt containers, these plastic containers. It's a great use for them. I just put some cool water in here and I have my flowers in here just waiting to be used for the craft. So let me walk you through the materials that you should have handy. It's great to have everything right on hand when you sit down to do a project. Um, so you have your flowers. I've got my scissors or you could use pruners to go around and cut your flowers and to trim them while you're working. I have some wire cutters. I have my measuring tape. And then this is pretty important. This is jute covered wire. I love the look of this, but this is going to be um, the base. I love how natural it looks. You could also use grapevine if you're looking for something on hand or any twigs that are pliable, you know, maybe willow would work great. Um, those are just different options for you. If you have some small wreaths, you could use those as a base if you picked some up at the craft store. And then you need your wire, and this is going to be to tie on the flowers. I like to use 22 gauge green coated wire from the craft store. Um, if you're trying to use what you have on hand, you could also use floral tape um, or pipe cleaners even. And then I've got some options for ribbon um, just to dress up the crown a little bit. So just some different options, ribbon and some raffia if I want a natural look. So I'm going to put my materials aside and then I'm going to create my base first. So if you've already got a wreath, you've got your ring made. But if you're making your own base or your own ring for the crown, you're going to need something that's going to be about 20 to 22 inches long. And what that will give you is about a eight inch diameter ring. So this is a good size for an adult. Um, however, if you're doing a crown for a child, you want to do something a little bit smaller. So a trick that I'm going to show you is how to make this an adjustable ring. So I've got my 22 inches and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few inches to it. And so that way it'll make it adjustable and it will fit anyone when you're done. So my jute wrapped wire here, sometimes it's called twine wrapped wire, um, but it's really great if you can pick this up. And so what I'll do is I've got my 22 inches here, 
but I'm going to make quickly just a loop at the end. Now I don't want any wire poking through, you know, for when you put it on your head, you don't want it to be uncomfortable. So I'm just making a loop. I'm just twisting it around and I really want to hide um, that end piece, you know, and kind of like squeeze it in there so it's not going to poke anyone in the head. And so then what you can do is you're just going to make your ring and for working purposes, I'm going to tie it off, but you will have the option of sizing this to fit whoever is going to wear this pretty crown. So just like that. And again, I don't want any sharp ends here, so I'm just going to push this in, squeeze it. Okay, so here's my ring. And roughly this is eight inches diameter. So it's a little soft, but that's okay. It's going to make it a little more comfortable. So now I'm going to need my green coated 22 gauge wire handy and my little wire cutters and my flowers here. I have an extra container just so I can cut off um, the snip the ends of the flowers and kind of contain my mess for easy cleanup. So you can start wherever you like. Um, I'm just going to get creative here and I'm going to make some little bouquets. And that's what we're doing. We're making a series of bouquets that we are going to tie on to the crown. So essentially, you're making a small wreath to wear on your head. So it's the same thing as making a wreath. It's a really good craft to learn because it's so versatile. So I'm going to make my little bouquets here. Okay, so this is one. If you want it to go a little quicker, you can go ahead and get your bouquets pre-ready, pre-made, and just line them up on your table, and then you can just go for it. So that's going to be the first bouquet. When making a crown or a wreath, the I always tell people the first and the last little bouquet are probably the toughest and then it's pretty easy. So you're not going to cut your wire, you're going to leave it on the roll. And for the first little bouquet, I want to make sure that I fasten the wire to the ring. So I'm just really going to twist it around the ring and again you want to make sure that it's not going to poke anyone here. Right, so once I get it fastened, now I'm always going to go in the same direction. I'm going to wrap it around two or three times or until it's really secure. Okay. And then it's just a matter of continuing to make my little bouquets here. casualty there and it happens and I'm just gonna pull it snug So one thing I will say about this is um, if you want your crown thicker, um, fatter, then your bouquets are going to be a little thicker 
and a little tighter together. So if you want it thinner and a little light and airy, you can just do some small bouquets like I'm doing and you can space it apart a little further. So it also may just depend on how many flowers you have for your project. Either way, it's going to be beautiful. I don't mind having the bouquets a little bit long because then you have a little more greenery around your crown and I think it looks a little more natural. Okay, so I think it's time to put the last bunch on and I've just made a tiny little bunch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finally cut the wire. So I like to leave a few inches um, and then I can trim it again if I need to. I'd rather have more than not enough. And then... I'm going to wrap it around here and then I'm going to skip over my bunch and I am just going to wrap it around the jute wrapped wire and several times and then again make sure that there's nothing poking out to hurt anyone. Um, just trim it here so to make it continuous I love that it started with this long piece of speed well here because I can just kind of tie it around there and finish it off so I'm going to make this the back of my crown and so just to dress it up a little bit I'm gonna add some ribbon I really love the color scheme of this here too So for the ribbon, I'm really feeling the purple. Um, and I think what I want to do is drape it over. So I've got a pretty good length here. I would say this is about 30 inches, but you've got your measuring tape out too if you want to um, be exact. I don't feel like it's an exact science. We're just playing here and having fun. I really love the gold here. I like how these go together. And I think that might be it. I think I might just go with these. And so anywhere towards the back you can tie these on. Um, I think I'm just going to tie them through one of my loops here. These can be as short or as long as you want. That's entirely up to you. You should be having fun with this. And then I'm just going to tie it off here. Um, I'm just going to do a double knot so it's secure. Love these colors. I think you all know what a fan of purple I am. This makes me really happy. 
so this is my flower crown and I am going to wear it <laughs> so this is it folks fun little project thanks for joining me today for my flower craft um, if you liked this video please like it and subscribe to our channel for some future gardening fun